Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jenny Hobson from the Hobson Institute, here to teach you a little bit about how to wear a mask properly and how to breathe behind a mask correctly. So wearing masks is important during this coronavirus pandemic. We need to stay safe, we need to keep our businesses open, and safe mask wearing is really what is going to make that happen. When you wear a mask, make sure that it covers the entire nose, that there's a nicely fit mask that wraps around the chin and tight around the sides. Notice this mask also has a conical beak-like shape. It's very similar to the N95 masks that are so difficult to get, but you'll notice that they also have that cone-like shape so that you can use your nose properly to breathe. It doesn't press your nose and your mouth is clear. So covering and capturing all all of our sneezes and our coughs will keep us safe and will also make sure that our friends and family and colleagues stay safe from our germs. Wearing a mask also causes lots of problems. If you notice, you might notice that you're a little congested and you might end up mouth breathing under the mask. Mouth breathing changes the game. You need to learn that the nose is what we're supposed to breathe out of. So just a little anatomy understand that the nose this is the nose this is the tongue look how big the nose is the nose has a filtration system so when you breathe in through your nose the cilia captures any of the bad particles in the air and it doesn't allow it to ingest into our body but the most important part of the nose is the sterilization aspect where if you breathe through your nose a gas in the sinuses gets released called nitric oxide Nitric oxide sterilizes, kills the bacteria, and kills the viruses. That's very important right now. So if you don't use your nose, you end up ingesting all of the bad viruses and bacteria into your lungs directly. So this is the most important thing about understanding nose breathing. Not only that, it'll warm the air, it'll filter the air, and it will create the right volume. So notice the nostrils. The nostrils are so little, right? If you look at my nostrils, look at the air tube down your throat. So the tube down your throat, if you drop your mouth and you allow the air to go through the mouth down the throat, you're not getting any sterilization, you're getting too much volume, and guess what? Notice where I end up breathing when I breathe through my mouth. Watch this area. So one of the things that people don't realize is if you mouth breathe, you use the wrong muscles. You end up using your neck and your chest, your head starts to tighten and go forward, and you end up looking like this, like a forward head posture. You don't want this. You end up constricting your breathing, right? So the, if you use your nose, you end up using your diaphragm. Your diaphragm is a massive muscle under your rib cage. You need to gently breathe in. When you breathe in, it lowers. So you get the air through the nose to go deep down to the lower lobes of your lungs. As you breathe out, it recoils and comes back. But these muscles don't get used. So mouth breathing, even if you're doing it a little bit with the, the mask, ends up changing the way you use your body. And everybody is having more and more neck tension because of the computer work that we're forced to do now because of the coronavirus pandemic. Now, what I wanna also share with you is how to position your mouth. So N, if you say the letter N, notice where the tip of your mouth goes, N. So it goes right behind the front upper teeth. Now you could close your mouth, so you're behind the mask, you're in the N, close. So your tongue now is supporting the back of the throat. So who wants to snore? Nobody wants to snore. But when you breathe through your mouth and the tongue has to go down to allow the air to go back to the back of the air, you know, the air tube back here, that tongue drops and this little area right here is called the soft palate. This is the hard palate. Well, the soft palate will drop. And if you sleep on your back, forget it. When you're a mouth breather, the whole back of your throat is like collapsing. So in sleep, if you're on your back, the back of the tongue goes back and it causes occlusion back there so you don't want to sleep on your back sleep on your side 
um, make sure that your tongue is the, in the end closed position and you want to make sure that you are using your nose. Now many of you that are runners seem to feel like not wearing a mask is important or that you don't have to wear a mask because you're healthy. But remember this virus, we have some people that aren't showing symptoms but they spread it. So we want to make sure that you are smart, wear a mask and use a nasal dilator. Nasal dilators, there comes, they come in many forms. Uh, cones, this one's called a mute. You just basically stick it up your nose. And notice my nose, and I wear these at night, or I use a Breathe Right strip. So you wanna see how wide it makes my air passages, my nostrils. So you wanna open up your air passages in your nose because that's where we're supposed to be breathing, remember? If your tongue goes down, you end up not supporting your airway and you cause more of an airway compromise. Not only that, when you breathe through your mouth, your air tube, your airway becomes floppy. We don't want that. We want strong, healthy airways that we can breathe through for the rest of our life without any problems. So when wearing a mask, either if you're running or sitting at your computer at work because you have to go back to work, make sure you use your nose, your tongue is in the end, and you close your mouth. Many of us end up having issues with that because we're mouth breathers or we're over breathers. So over breathers means that you're breathing too much volume in and out of your mouth. A lot of times it's in and out of your mouth, your tongue goes down and you end up having issues with being able to close your mouth. Why? Because look how small the nostrils are. So you need to learn how to reduce your volume and get used to it. It's very difficult, but you can do it. And if you don't do it, you end up being in a vicious cycle of over breathing and mouth breathing. So a couple ways to do it. I'm going to take this out. I want you just to gently close your mouth, gently breathe in through your nose, pause at the top, exhale so lightly, so gently that you almost can't feel it. And gently breathe in through your nose, pause at the top, enter less volume of air that you're used to. So you're behind a mask, your tongue is up. Gently breathe in through your nose. I like to pause at the top and pause at the bottom. But the more you try to do this, you will get it. The issue is when you don't realize that you breathe too much, we actually need an air diet. Especially behind these masks, you need to lessen how much you're using your mouth and the volume that it's used to. You're used to an, a big volume breathing uh, mechanism. So less breathing, you can also practice it with the finger under the nose. Gently breathe in through your nose, gently breathe out. Now try to make it so soft you can't feel it on your finger. Gently breathe in through your nose and gently breathe out. Gently breathe in through your nose, pause at the top and gently breathe out. So just to summarize, please remember masks keep us safe. The position of our mouth is important for our airway. You need to breathe through your nose so it sterilizes the air that you're breathing and it humidifies and creates the right volume and it warms it. It changes the way that we use our respiratory system. So I hope you've learned a little bit about how to properly breathe behind a mask and how to use it so that we all stay safe with the coronavirus pandemic. Thanks for listening.